Well, of course, the moment that I just get done telling you that I didn't really want to cause the system to reset because I, uh, I was in the process of using it to run the air conditioner. Yeah, I totally plugged it in while the battery pack was off and it reset. So I figured I will just show you what happens. Yeah, it's not really happy right now. So I'm gonna restart it. Um, and then you'll see it do its little dance and stuff like it. Oh, you know what's funny? Helps to actually go to the path where the file is at. Sorry, I'm a little flustered because I just turned off the air conditioner in my house and it's... What is going on? Oh, we're going to pricing. There we go. And we need Python init. So it's going to init. And do its doodly do. Cool. And it can't get to the hourly pricing. That's not cool. This happens sometimes. It's actually I, I might do another video on it. It's it's a weird thing that happened with an update with the Raspberry uh, base with yeah. What happens is if I take this and unplug it, the battery is, I don't think you can see it. The red light's on right now because the there's no data, but you can see that it is functioning. It is not functioning. There we go. No connection. Try that again. Let's see if we get some data. Still no data. Still no data. So weird. You can see here that it's uh, not, not happy. And I am getting, how do I get, it's still, yeah, because there's no connections, there's a lot, a lot of unhandled things. But you can see here I'm setting the set point. And if I go and set the set point, I'm just gonna do this and then plug it in. Oh, it's corrupty, a little corrupty. It's not really happy right now. And then bam, UI stops responding. That's not a bug. You saw the red light come on, the yellow light come on. It's, it reset. Let's give it a chance to reboot. The OLED display will not, yeah, the OLED display, you'll see the red light come on and the orange light come on. That's because the GPIO pins are not configured. So they're just randomly to whatever they're set to. And the OLED isn't refreshing. So it just shows whatever it was showing when it crashed until you pull power from it, which is neat in some ways, less neat when you think it's functioning and then it's you're debugging and it's just sitting there <laughs> not updating. Let's try to connect again. And let's start a new TMOX session. And let's not reboot, but let's see what we can find. There we go. Get to our path and try to restart this. Did I go past it? I probably forgot it. Python init.py. What do we think? Are we going to get data now or not? Still no. I might just power cycle it, shut it down. What I wanted to do is sudo shut down. Light is blinking. Light is off. And I will pull power from both things. Okay. The power is completely turned off. It is getting warm in here. <laughs> so the air conditioner needs to be turned back on again. So let's power the battery up. Plug it in. The battery is kind of low. Battery dropped from 19 to 6. Okay. So the display will show nothing until the script is or until the script is run. Demux session. 
Uh, and I want to Python in it. Did we get any luck this time? If not, there's a, I know there's a way to fix this, which is weird, but it works, which is to have it do a manually through Python in order to process. Well, I guess I'll show you the, I'll show you the way that I am able to fix this, which is weird. So I'm going to kill it again, not shut it down. I'm going to pkill Python. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to open up Python. 2.7.13, there you go. Uh, and this will be off screen, I believe. I don't think it's going to show up. There you go. All the stuff is right there. Oh, you can see all the, there's all the stuff that's sitting there. And it doesn't. Will it now open it? There it goes. Now it's opening it. Okay. But what I want to do is go to where... What I do is I go to where I'm going to... I just pick anything that's going to use SSL. Since I modular, modularized all of this, it's now in the energy cost. Oh, it's this... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste. So you'll see little pieces of code that are part of the hourly pricing thing. This is not something any, it's anything special. It's just from the hourly pricing. So the first thing is I need to import your lib to, oops. And then I'm gonna get a link. I'm gonna get a link without indenting it. So this is right from Comad's API, right on the website. Okay, cool, got the link. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just copying code right out of, <laughs> this is exactly what it's doing when it's starting up. I'm going to use the URL open method in the URL lib2 to grab that link and open it. And it does that and returns it to the current average data variable. And then I'm actually going to read it. Okay, and if we just go and print current, oops, current average rate time, boom, here's the last 24 hours of all the, the hourly pricing data. And now, I'm gonna come back over here. This is just the other terminal. It's both connected to the Raspberry Pi. So both Python, both Python instances are running on the Raspberry Pi. And here we go. Uh, I'm going to just end it again. What do we get? Oh, now it's fine. Now it's fine. So I don't understand what that is. Either maybe it's occurring too quickly and the random number generator isn't ready yet. I don't I don't know what's what's going on. Uh, I don't I don't know of any in any of the code examples or in the documentation for Python 2.7 up to 13, that there's nothing that says that you need to wait between link, like each thing is gonna return when it returns. There's no in imposed delay. So anyways, yeah, that's the kind of a strange thing that I saw that occurs with a reboot with this sometimes, not all the time, sometimes. And I just going in, giving it a link, opening that link and pulling it down into a variable, and then reading that uh, variable object and putting and putting that data somewhere that can you know that's a variable that you can manipulate, and then you don't even got to print it. You're just doing those things. In fact, I think just if I were just to do the URL lib to URL open, that's it. That's all I need to do because the reading is just reading. You, you know, this second bit, this second chunk here is where all the SSL stuff is involved. Okay, I'm gonna close this terminal and then this is back to running again. And I need to enable the air conditioner so it kicks back on again. But that's it. But I wanted to show you that. I think I showed you everything. I showed you everything, including the thing I didn't really wanna show. And I think that's it. So cool, sort of, but cool. And I'll see you in the next video.